to my channel. My name is Stephanie for those who are joining me today. And today's video is my Shop My Stash video. I will be going in my stash and pulling out some makeup products um, and things that I haven't used in a little bit. So yeah, if you guys like videos like this, makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, room decor, beauty room decor, anything like that, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, let's get into it. If my voice sounds a little raspy, excuse that. Um, this past weekend was my friend's giving dinner and I had my girlfriends over. You already know, food, wine, and girls, it's about to be a party. So yeah, I had fun with my girlfriends and I lost my voice. So excuse that. Um, I'm going to try to talk as clearly and as loud as possible without like going in and out. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys. And let's address the elephants in the room. Yes, I still have my Halloween nails on in Thanksgiving, but it's only because in literally a week and a half, um, I'm going to be going away for my best friend's birthday freaking weekend, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. But anyways, that's beside the point. I'm going to be getting my nails done then so they could be more cute and fresh. You know what I mean? So I was just like, just hold it down, sis. Hold it down. I did pop a nail on um friendsgiving so oh yeah that's just to show you lost my voice popped a nail it was a hell of a time with my girlfriends so yeah let's just jump into this so um i have my gold little makeup basket that i will be putting in my shop my stash products i do have some makeup products in here right now that i kept from my last shop my stash so i'm just gonna go through this really quick and just show you what i'm gonna keep in and then what we're gonna pick out so so the first palette I have here is the Beautiful in Barcelona palette by BH Cosmetics. Ooh, it's such a beautiful palette. It has beautiful shades. I didn't get to play with it that much, so I really want to keep it in here for that reason um, and get some more use out of her. I probably will pull out another palette or something, um, you know, just to match them up and then the other palette i have is a blush palette by jouet i absolutely adore these shades they're so freaking beautiful i'm just gonna keep this in here because it's just a nice variation of tones for blushes you can mix and match it's just so perfect so i really do um like this and i want to keep it in and i really do like the formula as well jouet has beautiful blush formulas i love it and for lips i do have some lip products here you guys are not surprised hello my ColourPop lippy pencil do you guys know my obsession with ColourPop, especially their pencils their eyeliner pencils and their lippy pencils are my fave so i'm keeping this one this is in the shade bff3 that's staying in there and then i also have these two i don't know if i want to keep these in but I didn't use them that much, so that's why these are the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liners in the shades um, Non Stop Nude, and this one is Keep It Spicy. So I might keep those in there, I'm not sure. And I also have this Chella Taupe Eyebrow Cream. It just comes with an applicator on one side and then the cream product on the other. So I'm gonna keep that in there and just possibly take out a brow pencil. And then for lippies, I have both of these Smashbox lippies. These are perfect for fall. I love these nudes and these tones for the fall weather. This is um, the Always On Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Gotta Light and Slay Tan. So I like these a lot. I didn't get to use them that much, especially when we're wearing masks and stuff. Like, I hate wearing makeup nowadays. If I know I'm going to go out and be wearing a mask, like, I don't know. It's just so weird now. So, yeah, it's really killing my makeup vibe, this whole coronavirus. I'm just going to be brutally honest with you. Like, it's really killing my makeup vibe. I don't feel as inspired as I used to um, doing my makeup, which is sad to say. But it's true because I feel like I'm the type of person, if I'm going to do my makeup and slay that shit, I want to wear it all day. So even if I got to go to the grocery store and pick up some milk and eggs, I if I did my makeup that day and that shit looks fire, I'm going to wear it to the grocery store. You feel me? Like, you're going to see it. So nowadays, we're hiding behind these masks, obviously, because it's our safety. It's for our own safety and for the safety of others. But, like, girl, you really, like, 
you know, I don't know. Like, this is my whole train of thought. I'm a mess right now. Do not mind me. It is 11 o'clock at night when I'm filming this video. I meant to do this earlier, but, you know, life gets the best of us. So, yeah, that was my little rant about coronavirus and how it's killing my makeup vibe. But anyways, the next products I have in here are um a brow product by elf this is the their pomade and powder product this is a nice product because i do get my cream and powdered brow product all in one so i really do like this as well and i also have this um charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder um i didn't use this at all like at all so um i don't know if i like it if i don't i just want to keep it in here just to test it out or did i use it I don't know, it looks like I used it, but I don't remember if I used it. Like, I'm a mess. So I'm just going to keep it in here. Um, and yeah, so let's go into my Shop My Stash products and see what we can pull out for this week. So we are currently at my at liquid eyeliner, mascara, brow, lippy, pencil, and then eye pencil drawer. Um, I kind of want to pick a theme, basically. Yeah, I kind of want to pick a theme. Um, for this shot my stash because I've been thinking a lot about products that I don't use anymore So I was like, you know what for my next shot my stash Let me pull products that I literally haven't used in like forever because I feel like I pull the same stuff I gravitate to the same stuff all the time because I love it so much so I want to go through here and just really grab things that I haven't used in god knows how long so yeah let's start with let's start back here actually with the brow products so starting back here with the brow products i'm not going to pull that out you guys know i don't have tons of brow products but you know um i haven't used this like at all and i had this for i don't know how long i don't know for brow products it's not much that I haven't used in here because I pretty much rotate these brow products fairly enough. A lot of these are just backups and new products that I don't want to open yet until my other ones are finished. You know what I mean? So let me just grab a brow pencil from in here. I'm going to grab the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. This is really nice. Um, I am running through that, so I might as well just take it out and finish it up. Um, I'm gonna put that in my makeup basket up here. Um, I also have a pomade, so I don't need to take a pomade, and I also have that other cream from Chella, so I think I'm good with the brow products in here. Um, if you guys didn't see my last shop, um, not shop my stash, if you guys didn't see my um Sephora haul, like my makeup haul where I hauled a bunch of drugstore and high-end makeup I do have brown brown oh my god I cannot talk I'm feeling you guys it's been a long weekend but I did pick up a lot of new brow products in that haul so I I did kind of just stock up on some new brow pencils and stuff that I haven't tried before so yeah I'm excited for that but I'm just gonna try to run through the stuff that I have anyways for the brow products so let's go into mascaras for mascara something that I haven't used in a while okay I don't know um, honestly, I think it would be this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I don't remember the last time I used this. So, yeah. Um, I do like it, and it still looks like it's fairly good. So, I'm going to take this out as well. And for liquid liners, um, something that I haven't used in a while. Let's see. This is actually kind of fun. I always use those glitter um, liners, and I recently just grabbed this ColourPop. Um, yeah, all these are kind of used in a lot. It's kind of between um, these two products, the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and it's also between the Stella All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm not sure if this is shiny. Because you guys know I do not like a shiny um, wing. I hate it. So let me see if that dries down matte. I know this one is really good. This one is literally one of my favorites. And I haven't used it in a while. So I'm trying to see if this dries down matte. So they're still drying. So on the top is the Stila one. And on the bottom is the Wet n Wild one. 
and honestly they're both pretty similar so let me just take out this stilo one because i really haven't used it in a long ass time if that if i ever used it because i don't remember ever using this product i probably i think i got this in like a little bundle or something you know it came in a little something so i'm going to take this out to use it for wing liner and um I already have some lippies that I think I'm just going to stick to. And let's go into my eyeliners in the front here. So, liners that I haven't used. Obviously, none of my color pops because I use those like literally all the time. They would have to be between. Let's see. Yeah, it would have to be between these two right here because I never use these. I just feel like they're so drying on the eyes this is actually a product that i should have decluttered but you know what i'm gonna see if it works out i don't know maybe it was a bad timing for me i don't know but this is the Lorac front in line eyeliners this one is in the shade antique gold and then this one is in the shade rose bronze so i really don't use these at all you see this is why i don't use it look that it it just com completely came out like what the hell it completely came out but okay i'm going to yeah these are literally so dry there's no color payoff so i'm going to declutter these as of right now and let me see this one if this one see this one's a little bit more creamy the rose bronze one so i'm going to take out this one and use it and take out another one but the other one just got decluttered because it was a mess like look at that this swatch is so nice this one right here it just skipped and dragged and that i'm not putting that on my eye so let's take out another one let's see what else i don't use in here i just took out that one mm, this is the appeal deep taupe one that one's actually really nice. I'm going to take out this one too. This is the Appeal Gel Eyeliner in the shade Deep Taupe. And that's the color right there. It's actually very creamy. So I'm going to take that out as well. Um, and that is it for this drawer. Okay, we are at my primer, foundation, and concealer drawer. Um, obviously, I don't have any foundations and concealers. So I'm going to take some out. And let's go in. So for primer products that i haven't used in a while so that would be between these two right here this one is the no problem prime essence by touch and soul i don't use this at all like i don't even know what the heck it is it's more watery than anything so it's kind of like scary to me that's probably why i don't use it because it's so liquidy like you know it's literally coming out like it came out so I don't know it's so liquidy I don't know if it's gonna do anything to my skin maybe just add some hydration because I have been a little dry lately so I'm going to take this out and put it in my basket and then I also have this one this is the glossy um, the glossy skin balm by also by touch and soul this I got in a boxy charm and I haven't used it like in I don't know how long. I just remember it smells really nice. So should I take this out as well? That smells so freaking good. I think I'm gonna take this out because I've just been so dry too. So why not? I can kind of like alternate between those or mix them together, you know, get a little finish on me. But yeah, I'm gonna take this out as well. That actually feels really nice on the back of my hand, to be honest with you. It's very soft. Um, so yeah, that is it. Let's go back here to foundations. A product I have not used in a while. It pretty much rotates through these foundations a lot. But, let's see. I haven't used this one in a while. And I feel like I'm picking a lot of dewy products now that I look at it. Like this, the Glossy Balm, the dewy foundation. I'm going to be a freaking oily mess. So you know what? Or, you know what? I haven't used this one either. Which is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. 
So, you know, instead of using this one, because I pulled out so many glossy products, let me take out the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and the shade Honey. This is really nice as well. So, I'm going to take this out. And for fa oh, foundation, for concealer, mm, something I haven't used in a while. Well, I can tell you right now, it's definitely the Benefit Boing, and it's only because it's so dark. So maybe I can take this out and pair it with a lighter concealer, maybe one that's a little bit more lighter in tone, and that way I can kind of like even it out. Like this one right here, this um, e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. It's a tad bit too light, but I feel like if I mix both of them together, I'll get a really nice... Um, color match so let's take both of these out the benefit boing concealer in the shade number nine and then the elf hydrating concealer too so that is it from this drawer so now going into my blush bronzer and highlight drawer i also have some liquid highlights in here as well so starting off with blushes i do have that blush palette so I don't think I need any more blushes, especially because it brings so many tones in there. Like, to pick another blush would be pointless. Um, so let's just go straight into bronzers. Um, my bronzers, I also do rotate frequently because I don't have that many bronzers anyways. So um, let me just pick one. So I'm going to take out the Pretty Vulgar Bronze B bronzer in the shade 113 Bronze Mannequin. Um, this is really nice. The It looks like this because when I did get it, it came shattered. So I just kind of bootlegged, re, like pressed it. But, you know, obviously it doesn't look so pretty, but it still performs very well on the skin. So I'm just going to take this out. And then for highlight... Highlight that I haven't used. So, honestly, I don't use loose highlighters. So, I might as well take out one of these loose highlighters and start using them. Um, because I don't use them a lot. So, I don't know if I should take out I'm So Lit or Hustle and Glow. So, these are the loose highlighters. This one is I'm So Lit and this one is Hustle and Glow. And I just, I think I'm going to take out the Hustle and Glow one um, because I'm so lit. It's just so icy and it's not what I'm like trying to go for right now. So I'm just going to take out the Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow one, which is this one right here. Since I never use a loose highlight like ever, I don't gravitate to these at all. So I'm thinking about maybe taking out one more highlight because you guys know I love highlighter. So one I never really pull out is this Jouer one. I'm not sure what it's called, but this is the Jouer highlight in Skinny Dip. This is really, really, really pretty as well. And I do love this formula. The only thing is I feel like it looks very similar to the Wet n Wild shade. But look how beautiful that highlight is. Like I have to take this out. This is absolutely stunning. So this one is the Jouer highlight on the bottom, and this one right here is the Wet n Wild. They are similar, but I feel like the Jouer one is a little bit more lighter and icier in tone, and then the Wet n Wild is a little bit um, more champagne, kind of rose gold. So yeah, I think they're very beautiful. I'm still taking them both out and still using them because I don't use them ever, but that Jouer one is doing things to me, honey. So that is it for highlighters. Let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, we are at my powder, face powder, and um, glitter and single eyeshadow drawer. I just have some glitters and pigments in here. So let's pick out a face powder. Um, for face powder, I'm still almost done with the collab powder, but I want to take out a powder that I haven't used. And I feel like that would probably be this one. I only use it maybe once or twice. It is new to my collection, but I haven't used it as much as I gravitate towards these and rotate these around. So I'm just going to take this powder out. This is the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer powder. I heard that 
this was being discontinued but then i also heard that they're still selling it on urban decay's website so i am going to take this out sometimes i do um i am afraid of pulling out products that you guys can't get your hands on because it's like why am i showing a product that you can't use or get your hands on if you're interested in seeing or seeing how it works out for you so yeah sometimes that's why i kind of hesitate showing or pulling out certain products that maybe are discontinued or a part of a collection that you can no longer get your hands on so yeah but i heard you can still get your hands on this i will be checking that later on tonight because now i'm just curious but i did hear that you can still find this on urban decay's website so um i do have that charlotte tilbury powder so i'm not going to take out any face powders because if i do i won't use that powder so um, moving on over here, I also want to take out a little glitter pigment moment to go along with the eyeshadow palette by BH. And I really do like these right here, these Too Faced um, liquid glitter eyeshadows. These are so pretty. This pink one right here, this is called Pink Champagne Sugar. This is absolutely stunning i want to take this out and i also want to take out i want to take out one more but knowing my ass i won't use them so i don't want to flood myself with too much stuff so i think that's it from this year i don't want to take out anything else and yeah so this is my face palette drawer i don't want to take out any face palettes just because i do have bronzers and blushes so there's no need to take out a palette from in here um probably next time i'll take out a another face palette to rotate some of those palettes around so let's go down to eyeshadows for eyeshadow um we have the bh cosmetics um beautiful in barcelona palette and that has some beautiful fall cool tones which are so pretty um i'm thinking about ordering the color pop cool fox is it called cool fox palette where it has all those beautiful cool mauvey gray tones like that palette is so pretty and i feel like i don't have anything like that in my collection i gravitate more towards like warmer shades but obviously hello i love makeup and i want to try to experiment with cool tones as well so um i'm thinking like do i have a cool tone palette in here that i could pull out to kind of play with to get that vibe um and then I thought about my Urban Decay um, palette right here that I have not used in like forever. And I feel like this one has some nice cool tones, especially like in this area. So yeah, I think I'm going to take this one out as well because I haven't used this palette in a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm going to take out this Urban Decay Born to Run palette looks like this i really do like the packaging i just haven't used it in a while so i'm gonna take that out as well and i think we're good for palettes um i did add some palettes here that i had um displayed on my shelves but i just added it back in here because i wasn't using them because they were being displayed you know they were decoration but i did put back in here my natasha denona gold palette oh if i can open it looks like that this one's really pretty and I also put back my Dose of Colors um, Frankation palette. So, yeah, this one's really pretty as well. This one's such a beautiful holiday palette. So pretty. So, yeah, I think that's it, though. So we're going to stay with those two palettes. And then we're over here at my little lipstick area. I just have a few lipsticks out here displayed. Um, and a lot of them, like these Too Faced ones, I have not used in a while. So I wanted to pull them out and have them displayed out here. So that's why they're over here. So I'm thinking I want to take out a lipstick as well. Even though I do have those liquid lipsticks by Smashbox, I do like a lipstick as well. So for what lip is... I do like this one let me I'm gonna take out this one because I feel like I this would be a beautiful um center shade this is the Too Faced Sunday Funday lipstick this will be really nice with like a brown 
um, lip liner and then this right on the center like this is so pretty and they still smell so good I just want to use them so I'm going to take out this lipstick and that is it for here okay we are at my everyday oh Okay, we are at my everyday makeup drawer. I do have some pan products right here in the corner. Um, and then I have my basket that is literally sitting here very hefty with all of our products. So I'm just going to organize these makeup products in my drawer. And yeah. Okay guys, this is all the makeup in my drawer. I could have organized it a little bit better, but I really like to just have everything laid out where I can see it and just see what I have to play with. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this Shop My Stash video, enjoy Shop My Stash videos in general and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my little glowing family. Give this video a thumbs up with my broken nail. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.